India is uh, also today uh, marking Vijay Divas by making its entry into an elite club with the launch of its first indigenous nuclear powered submarine. The INS Harihan's uh, launch will be a big step towards India's endeavor to build a credible nuclear weapon triad. The capability to fire nuclear weapons from air, land, and sea. This is the USS Key West, a Los Angeles class nuclear submarine. Submarines like this form the backbone of the United States submarine fleet. Armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles, these subs strike fear where they go. Now the Indian Navy is getting one of its own. The nuclear-powered Aryanth, built by the Navy and the DRDO, will be able to launch nuclear missiles with 750-kilometer range. India now has a nuclear triad with the ability to launch missiles from the land, the air and now the sea. Nuclear powered submarine, it has got unlimited endurance. It can literally go around the world ten times without fueling. Its only limitation on endurance is the endurance of the crew. So it can remain underwater for prolonged periods. It does not have to come to the surface and therefore it is not as vulnerable as a conventional submarine. With the induction of the Aryan submarine and the Akula class submarine next, India will have superior naval firepower. The Pakistani Navy does not have such a submarine, while the Chinese Navy has 10 of the Jin class submarine. The Arihant can launch 12 submarine ballistic missiles, the same as the Chinese carrier the Jin. For a triad with a second strike capability, uh, conventional wisdom in the Western countries and in the China and Russia indicates we need about four to five such submarines so that one can remain at sea uh, at all the time, all the time to provide you the second, assured second strike capability. In our case, given our two nuclear adversaries, I would say we need perhaps half a dozen. The Aryan class submarine is a multi-role platform conducting both overt and covert operations. In peacetime, it acts as a deterrent as well as for surveillance operations and information gathering. In war, the submarine can carry out a number of missions, like firing from under the ice cap if needed and attacking land targets, providing the bite to the Indian Navy. Bureau Report, Times Now. And as the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, launches the nuclear submarine at Vishakhapatnam port today, Times Now brings you day-long and exclusive coverage so don't forget to catch all the action only on Times Now.